much. We'll see you later. Uh, the time now is 21 minutes past eight. Now, here at least, we are gunge free this Saturday morning, but uh, on other channels on your television, that won't necessarily be the case because gunge, slime, phone ins, pop stars, it has been part of kids' TV Saturday mornings yes. for decades. And we've loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved Still it. Still love it. All began 45 years ago uh, today when Noel Edmonds first presented the multicolored swap shop. And though presenters and programmes have changed through the years, the nub of it all is the same, isn't yeah. it? It continually keeps young ones amused. And if you fancy a trip like Memory Lane or show your kids what you used to watch, and as Naga says, it's pretty similar to what they watch <laughs> now, is. Hayley Hassel's been looking back through the archives. It was 1976. Concorde made its first non-stop flight across the Atlantic. Brotherhood of Man won the Eurovision Song Contest. And after a hard week at school, Children's weekends started to look a whole lot brighter. 9.30, Saturday morning, welcome indeed. Presenter Noel Edmonds was joined by John Craven and Keith Chegwin, along with celebrity guests, a child audience, and of course, a puppet dinosaur. It was the first time that children had been given the chance to interact with the television. They could call up a pop star, write to the presenters, and join a club of their very own. And in 1977, Keith, Noel and John were joined by female presenter Maggie Philbin. This was my very first job and I never expected to get it. So I was absolutely thrilled, um, but also completely terrified because I'd never, I had absolutely zero experience. I think that ignorance was bliss back in the day uh, when we I was doing Swap Shop, there were only three television channels. And that meant that the immediacy of your contact with millions of, of children and adults um, was absolute. Swap Shop was initially planned for just 12 weeks, but continued to keep kids hooked for six years. From the Swap Shop team, goodbye. After Swap Shop came the Saturday Superstore. In 1987 came Going Live with Philip Schofield and Sarah Green, and then Live and Kicking, CD UK, TMI and The Saturday Show. And it's that childlike fun that perhaps lured some of the biggest stars and the world's most important people onto Saturday morning live TV. But they maybe didn't expect the unpredictability of working with children. Hello, Alison. Hello. Um, in the event of a nuclear war, where will you be? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. <laughs> it gave children a voice for the first time they were listened to, and the national press wanted to hear what they had to say. If you look at the similarities between all of these different shows um, for all of the years, from, from Fully Booked to Live and Kicking to Swap Shop, I think they rely on really putting the kids first. <laughs> There's always a place for live shows. There's always a place to feel like you're watching something at the same time as everybody else. I think that will never go. Move on 45 years and Children's TV runs seven days a week, 24 hours a day across more than 20 channels. But you'll still find the presenters doing just what they did 45 years ago. Hair raising challenges, cute animals and a puppet. Can you tell me what it is you've brought to Children's TV? Uh, well, I've brought a small uh, orange slash yellow monster, uh, fun, laughs, ridiculousness and a little bit of unpredictability. Yeah, I do like Saturday morning television because it's fun because you can talk to the people, hello people! Yeah. Well, Stanley, I've got yes. a surprise because oh, really? there's a bit of no. a celebrity here right now. Really? Where um, I'd like to introduce you to <laughs> Gordon the Gopher. No. Oh, wow! Oh, Gordon the Gopher! Gordon. Oh, yeah, what, really? Yeah, how much? <laughs> wow. Well, Gordon, well, well, so um, obviously you've been on children's TV for many years now. How has it been for you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> great. Well, not all of live children's television makes sense. But one thing's for sure, Saturday morning TV always seemed to end with something like this. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> and it always will, Hayley. It'll always end like that. Hayley Hassel reporting for us there. Great to see Gordon the Gopher still alive, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> We're joined now. You either loved him or you hated him. We're joined now by Harps Core and Joe Tasker from the Saturday Mashup Studio. Hi, go hi guys. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning. It We're just looks like. I mean, you look back at children's TV and and having known what Saturday Mashup is like. It's just like 
I wouldn't even say it's organised chaos. It's just chaos, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's never organised, Naga. Never, it never. Is. No, it's, it's just pure chaos. I mean, watching that back now, you can see how much it's evolved over the years, and it hasn't stopped now. It's still chaos. Um, Organised-wise, we go through it a little bit, don't we? But it's just yeah. more to know where we stand in the structure. But we get maybe... to have a, a couple of minutes yeah. to have a look over everything, you know, just to see where we're standing, uh, where everything's positioned. So we do get to see yeah, a little bit of like it. Like you said, like a favourite bit, chaos. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, um, so, listen, when you, you know, there are also the, the moments that I think lots of parents up and down the country throughout the years have thought, I get to lie in. You're looking at me, yeah, that was so you, wasn't <laughs> it? Yeah. John is just like, yes, that was the opportunity to lie in. So, the pressure on you to entertain children, and bear in mind, so many parents have been traumatised with homeschooling, let alone Ooh. the kids. Oh, yes. There's a lot of pressure, isn't there, to kind of keep it, keep the variety and the pace up, but also do some good. Yeah, no, there is a lot of pressure, but with that comes everyone's hard work and effort here on the team, especially with all the, how we've adapted, especially with homeschool learning and everything, like we kept going throughout the summer, mm. we had summer mashup, um, but we've got lots of, like, it's different games, loads of celebs, yeah. and hopefully kids are returning as well in the studio. Hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed, and the adrenaline as well. I think yeah. the adrenaline rush just does not stop, so the more that you've got of it, I mean, you don't even think about anything else, do you? It's just so fast-paced. Yes, definitely not a lion, though. There's no lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, no, you, are, you are childcare for the next every Saturday morning. Uh, I tell you, who doesn't stop your cameraman's very active, isn't he? Dave, <laughs> he's, he's on, he's on one today. He's, yeah. he's in his element here in the studio. I, think we, I think we need to do that here in the new studio, don't Is you? That, you know, whenever yeah. Dave does the camera work for us, he's never that live. <laughs> <laughs> you need to crank, crank up the settings. Like <laughs> <laughs> Hobbs, tell me, I mean, we, we just looked back there to, to um, Swap Shop that we were reminiscing about yeah. here, Nagger and me, and going live, Saturday Superstar. I mean, you're miles younger than us, but, but, but how... How aware are you of that kind of heritage that you're a part of when, when you're part of Mashup? You know what, just watching that back as well has brought back so many memories. You know, I've grown up watching things like Live and Kicking, TMI, mm. Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. Um, and even though, you know, like we've mentioned, even though Kids TV started 45 years ago, we're still trying our best, you know, carry it on. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's not a lot has changed, but I think we're very fast paced. There's so many ways to connect with people now. We're interacting with people in, a, you know, in many different ways. We've got, we've got technology, you know. Yeah, we've got, yeah. I mean, lots of mashup viewers can get involved. They can go on the website, yeah. they can vote for who's getting slimed. They can appear on the TV. They, we surprise them live. Get involved um, with competitions. There's yeah. ways for them to get, you know, get their hands on some amazing goodies. Yeah, it's like a, it's so like a nice ways. little club yeah. for everyone. Everyone tunes in 9 a.m. Saturday morning, and it's a nice little club. Everyone gets involved in different ways. And yeah. you've got games that you play as well, haven't you, Joe? Oh, yeah. show, show us what you got. We've got oh. plenty of games. Let's oh. give you a little tour. We'll give you a mini tour. tour. Mini tour, right? So over <laughs> here. Start over here. New balcony. I love showing off the new balcony. We can start from here. We can run down here. Up We've and always down. wanted one of those, actually. We've Haven't requested we it, and it's finally here. <laughs> and we haven't here. yet fallen. Here's a performance area. We've had many amazing guests perform on this. A little bit later on, we've got Nathan Evans performing some amazing. Yes, Steve. Right, Dave's got his runny shoes on now. Dave's yeah, running all the way around. Come on, you're live on Saturday. Now, speaking of one of our games, this is our favourite. This is called Tongue Twister. Celebrities get inside this. Gob, literally. I'll Catch. tell you what, Joe, you jump in. I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to do this anyway. Show them how it's done. We do what we want. <laughs> and they run around, catch foods and shove it down the gob. Yeah, so basically our guests will have 60 seconds to try and get as many, as much food yeah. down that it gullet as fun. they it can. Gets, it gets without fast, falling. Like Joe just keep did going, right there. Keep going, keep I'm going, keep going. This is for you. You've got this. You've seen bread, job and rehearsals. I need a PC. I have no idea what that game is about. <laughs> yeah, it's all chaos, Naga. You mentioned chaos, so there you go. I love you it. Did. I absolutely love it. Keep going. Um, you know, Joe, the it's whole task right. is you have to know. Oh, I'm ready going. for this. is my marathon training. <laughs> this is all I've got. There you go. Keep going. I just think we you just hang this. on the camera there. I just know, see you've how got, far you You've go. got time to fill, haven't you? This is why. Go on, we're, we're, you know what? We're doing that uncomfortable thing, you know, where the adults aren't very much fun and they just kind of keep going, Joe. Honestly, <laughs> keep going. How does this stop? We're on until 10 o'clock, Joe. So yeah. just don't worry about us. You've got it easy. There's no food flying at you. No, it's heavy. Really gets ready for when we live. Have either of you two been gunged? Because you know if you're oh. gonna do it, you've got to you've got to have it from experience. Keep going, Joe. You don't we, you have to. You don't we, get to stop. It doesn't stop. That. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely had our fair share of slime. Actually, it, it doesn't matter how much we try and avoid it. The, the mashup crew always somehow managed to get it in there. I mean, yeah. the Christmas sing-along last year. Oh, we got badly slimed then. That was bad. It's cold as well, you know. But it's and, fun. Yeah, I think even, everyone secretly wants to get slimed. Everybody loves it. Yeah. And do you know what? Well, Nag even Nagger, Nagger, and Charlie, Nagger and Charlie were slimed on yeah, we were. Cracker Jack, loved weren't it. you? Absolutely loved so, it. So, uh, yeah, she's still... keep going. Keep I'm going, doing the best. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Thank you both I told so you much. you need to get a PT. <laughs>
Keep going, Joe. <laughs> there you go. It's all, it's all kicking off. Oh, dear. Time now. So enjoy it. If you're tuning into that, enjoy it. Um, 8.31 is the time. And Mike's going to have...